Today is Tuesday, and I normally have been doing here lately the two looks on a Tuesday, but this week we're gonna do something different. I'm gonna do a fall look with a new palette that I have received. I received this maybe almost, that's been about two weeks ago that I got this one, received this one in the mail. And yeah, but before we get started, if you're new, welcome. And if you're turning, welcome back. So happy that you're here. All right, so what did I get? Well, you know, Too Faced came out with a new palette, the Apple in Love palette. And of course I had to get it. I absolutely had to have it. So I got it. Let's take a look at it. She pretty. <laughs> and it looks like this, it's that tin palette and the apples are raised. Beautiful beautiful red burgundy color, isn't it? Has a nice mirror, but look at those colors. Look at those fall beautiful colors. It's a little beautiful. And it's supposed to smell like, what was it? I can't remember, caramel apple. Let's just see if it does. Oh yeah, 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 it smells like caramel apple. So we're gonna use this palette today to create a fall look. I also picked up the, um, Lip injection, maximum plump. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna how this is gonna hold on, guys. I don't know how this is gonna go, but what it went with it. It's the caramel apple lip glossy. So we're gonna use that. Then they sent me a sample of the Better Than Sex Foreplay. What is this? The mascara primer and then a little sample of the Better Than Sex Mascara. So we're gonna use those today too. But let's get going, shall we? Let's get it, let's do it, let's do it. All right, so I used, I have, I've, only thing I've done is put on my skincare um, and my eye primer. And for my eye primer today, I used my Anastasia eye primer, one of my Holy Grail eye primers that I love, love, love. So I use that, now let's just create a look. Let's just create a look. So, how are you guys doing? How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing really good, actually. I've had a busy last couple of weeks, and yesterday was not a good day. It was the two-year anniversary of my daddy passing, so it wasn't a very good day. But today's a new day, right? Right. All right, let's get started. Let's go into this. I'm gonna go into this baskets full, this dark brown. And I'm gonna go in lightly because these are very pigmented. And I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna start here. Just gonna tap it first. I'm gonna go all across the, the um, crease and the transition area with this brown. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. I need a blending brush. My one blending brush is dirty. Where is my other one that I like? I would lose my head if it wasn't attached to my shoulders. Let's see here. <laughs> Let's use this. So, we have, this year has been really unusual for weather. We have had some of the strangest weather. Normally, where I live, it gets hot about the 1st of June and it stays hot until mid to the end of September before it starts cooling off. And it's dry, just usually so dry all summer long, right? Well, this year, it's been totally different. It's been really weird. We've had a ton of rain. And we, you know, we've had some hot days in the 115 plus with the heat index, actually 120 plus with the heat index. We've had some days like that, but we've also had some really nice, nice temperature days, like 80, 84. That's nice for us for summer. And yeah, and, to, and this, see, Saturday it was nice. Yesterday, it's just been nice for the last four or five days. So yeah, it's supposed to rain today. I don't see nothing yet, it's cloudy out. 
So we've had some really awesome weather. I mean, it's just been unusual. I'm not complaining, mind you. But I am ready for fall. <laughs> I decided I was going to do a fall look today. Why not? Why not? I love fall. You know, where I live, we don't really have a lot of distinction in our seasons. Like winter, it will be really cold. Last few winters have been really cold. Really cold, 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 cold. Then all of a sudden, hot. And not any, and not much of a spring, really. Not really any spring. But fall, I love fall. That's my favorite. I think fall would have to be my most favorite season of, of all. I love it. I love the colors. I love the the scents, the smells, just everything about fall. Everything about fall. I absolutely love. All right. So, we got that. Now, I'm going to go, I think I'm going to take, what am I going to do now? You know, I think we're going to take this candy apple right here. I'm going to use a little bit of that. I'm going to try to go real light with that. Find a smaller brush. Let's try this one. Just kind of put that here. Kind of just put that in the crease lid area. Just a little bit, isn't that pretty? Oh, that's gorgeous. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I'm making sure I'm filming. <laughs> oh me. Yes, it's been one of those kind of mornings. Isn't that pretty? With that brown and that burgundy color together. I think that's pretty. One thing I'm learning because, you know, I am older. I have, you know, I'm getting ready to have a big milestone birthday. <laughs> I'm not happy about it too much, but hey, you know, it's part of life, right? But anyway, so of course, you know, I have the crepey, wrinkly eyelids, and of course, I have hooded eyes. And so I'm learning to tap, tap in my eyeshadow with the crinkly eyes. It makes it not, it's not patchy, and it doesn't skip, you know what I'm saying? And it's not the palette, it's my eyes. So I am learning to do that. Isn't that pretty? Let's do some blending. What did I use for, oh, yeah, this one. <laughs> I need to wash my brushes today. I lost some of that brown, so let's kind of put that back in. So I just kind of tap it in really good. And then before I just kind of, I don't do that windshield wiper necessarily, but just kind of tap and, and swipe. That's pretty. That is so pretty. I like it. I like it, but I'm more of a neutral girl. All right, in the fall, it's the best time it's for my neutrals, right? Right. A little bit more brown on here. Okay, a little more there. We'll get it in a minute. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. I like it. All right, now I want to use. I want to use a shimmer. What shimmer do I want to use? 
Oh yeah, look at that. I think that one, that's the shimmer I want to use. But I think before I do that, I'm gonna cut my crease with the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. Let me try this out. Cut Crease Canvas, I'm gonna use a little bit of that. Let's see if I can find the brush I wanna use for that. Let's just use this one. So anyway, so we've had some really weird weather. Some strange, strange weather. Yes, we have. I'm not complaining though. With me and the heat, really hot weather, just don't get along. Ever since my hysterectomy, I used to love summer, but then I had to have a hysterectomy, and I hate. I don't. I don't hate summer, but I. I'm glad when it's <laughs> when it's over. <laughs> I know there's some people out there that aren't, but I am because, and the only reason why, is because I can't stand the heat. Me and heat don't get along. I'm already hot enough with my since my hysterectomy. And add the high hundred plus temperatures. Yeah, it's yeah. Alright, so get that on. I need to put a little bit more brown, I think. Kind of lost that a little bit. Blend that just a little. All right, now we're gonna go in with that apple of my eye right here. I'm gonna go in with that on the lid. And I'm gonna use my finger. Or am I gonna, well, you know what? Let's try it with a brush. Let's try it. Let's see. Let's just try this brush. That's pretty. There's some blending. Let's try the finger, using my finger. That's pretty. I think that's really pretty. All right, let's put some on the other eye. And then we'll go in with the finger. That's pretty. I like that a lot. Now for the inner part of the eye, I'm gonna go in with I don't know if it'll go, but we're gonna use it anyway. This slice slice baby, this green shimmer. We're gonna go with that. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but you know, it's makeup, it washes. And I'm not going anywhere, so yeah, I'm going to use it. It's pretty. Very pretty, it's subtle. It's a subtle mint green. Let's build that up a little bit. I think that's pretty. 
that is pretty i like that so do you guys have any fall traditions that you like to do we don't have really i don't know if they're necessarily fall traditions but there are things that we do in the fall decorate for fall get pumpkins out for fall i don't do halloween my oldest son's birthday is on Halloween, but we don't celebrate Halloween as Halloween. We just celebrate his birthday. So I do pumpkins. I, I decorate my porch up with the uh, hay bales and pumpkins and mums. Um, and then I, this year, I usually put out a fall wreath, but I can't find the fall wreath that I had from before we moved here. I haven't put one, a fall wreath up in a few years, but this, I want to get a, fall, a new fall wreath to put out on my front door this year. That's pretty. I like that. I do like that. Do it all over blend. A little bit. I just lost some of that burgundy, so let's just try to put a little bit more of that back in. I just did what I said I don't do. That windshield wiper, whatever. <laughs> All right, blend that just a little bit. All right. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go offline. I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to finish up the eye and put my base on. And then we will come back and we will use the mascara and the lip together. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Hang tight. I'm back and I forgot to put my mascara on already, but that's okay. This is the finished eye look. I did not use a um, eyebrow product today. I'm not going anywhere, so yeah, I just didn't use one today. This is the eye look. All right, let's do this lip. This lip injection lip plumper and caramel apple from Too Faced. Let's just see what this is like, shall we? It's a pretty color. Look at that. Very pretty. Like, let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it feels like. Oh, what the heck? Oh, man. What happened? The Stopper came out of it. Oh gosh. Hold on guys. I got it fixed. A little too rough. Oh, it smells just like caramel apple. Oh, divine. Fall, fall, fall. All right, let's put this on. Pretty, very pretty color. I like that, I like that. Ooh, it tingles. <laughs> yeah, it tingles. All right, let's go over what we did. So I went off and I cleaned up the eyes and I finished up the eyes. Ooh, that tingles big time. My lips are, uh, but it doesn't help that my lips are chapped. So that might be why it's bad, okay. So, I took that baskets full and I lined my upper lid with that. And then I lined my lower lid, you know, about halfway with that baskets full dark brown. Then I went in with this pick me green right here. And I finished and I just uh, uh, lined the, this part, the more inner part of the lid. And for my inner corner i use the smitten this one right here for the inner corner smitten then i use this Too Faced better than sex foreplay uh it is says it's an instant lengthening lifting and thickening mascara primer um yeah i used it i'm not impressed with it no i don't think let's see my L'Oreal Voluminous Primer is way better than this Too Faced and way cheaper. 
So I'm glad I got a sample of this to try. So now I'm, I mean, I'll use this, but I won't purchase it. And it's expensive. So yeah, yeah, it's okay. And then I use the Too, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which I used to use this mascara all the time and I loved it. But, and it's still not a bad mascara. I mean, it's not a bad mascara. It's got that big fat wand. It's not a bad mascara. I like it, but it's not a bad mascara. If I got it in a box, which I think I am getting in a box, I'll definitely use it. Um, so it's not bad. I do like it. I do like it. All right. So that takes care of the eyes. So let's just do the base. So I used my... Laura Geller Spackle Skin Perfecting Hydrate Moisturize and Replenish um, pr Face Primer. And under my eyes, I used my e.l.f. Putty Color Correcting Eye Brightener underneath my eyes. And then for my foundation today, I used, well, then I went in with the Key Soul Care Let Me Glow. Got a little bit of a glow. Let Me Glow. Use that. And then for my foundation, I used my Revlon um, Photo Ready Candid Glow Foundation in 110 Porcelain. Use that for my foundation. Um, then my bronzer, I used my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It in Light, which, yeah, hit pan right there a while back. Then for my blush, I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Blush Trio in Berry Adore. And I kind of took a little bit of this and kind of, kind of, um, much, mixed these two together to, for the blush today, which I like. This is one of my favorite blushes for the fall. Um, then for a setting powder, I did use the Flower Beauty. Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. I did use some of that. Um, I did not use a highlighter today because I forgot. So we're gonna do that real quick. We're gonna use the BH uh, Spotlight and Highlight Primer, Primer, Highlighter. And I'm gonna go in with, there's no colors, no colors on it, but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, let's do that one. Let's just do that real quick. For a primer, let's see here. Use this. Not a primer, highlighter. Why do I keep saying primer? All right. Tone that down just a little bit. Okay, now we got the highlighter on. All right, and then for, oh, I did use the Natasha Denona High Glam Brightening and Hydrating Crease Proof Serum Concealer. I had a little sample of this, I don't remember, probably from uh, Sephora, and I used the R2, I used this one under my eyes. Um. And then on my lips, you know what I use. I use the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump in, what color was this again? Caramel Apple, I use that. And actually, that burning has gone way down, way down. And I like it. I do like this a lot. All right, guys, that's it. That's what I use to create a fall look today. So let me know what you think in the comments below. One more look. I think it came out really pretty. I'm really happy with it. These are my jam. These colors are my jam. I could do these colors all day long. All day long. I should have done my brows, but I didn't, but I'm not going anywhere. So we're not gonna worry about it. All right. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you don't mind. It really helps the channel. And share with your friends. The more the merrier. All right, guys. Until we meet again, take care. Bye.